Uh huh. What kind of time foolery is this right here? Let's see. Let me close this. Um. See, this is the kind of stuff that really pisses me off. UPenn trans swimmer defeats Harvard's women's team in two races. Okay, see, so he couldn't beat the men. So now his ass and came over. You know, see, I've always had a problem with this type of shit right here. You can't be more than a man and tell me because you don't take so many hormones that you are the same as a cisgender woman. A woman. I ain't trying to hear that crazy shit. And y'all have already orchestrated the world where it's mad enough as it is. And anybody that go for something like this, they need to, they need to be ahead examined as well. You know, it's already one thing uh, to walk around in a body that you feel like don't match who you are. But damn it, if you was born a man with muscles and you're not a hormorphodite, and then you taking hormones to turn into a woman because you feel more comfortable with that, then you need to ra uh, race in a whole transgender group. Y'all need your own damn group. You don't need to be coming your ass up over here, Leah Thomas, to beat the damn women to death. What the hell wrong with this world? Leah Thomas, the transgender University of Pennsylvania swimmer who has beat Women swimming records this season and formally competing as a male defeated Harvard University's women team in two major races on Saturday. This is actual bullshit. Nobody can't get away from but this but white men. White men do whatever the hell they want to do. That's why they got to be broke off. Thomas swept the 100-meter and 200-meter freestyle races against Harvard, finishing the former in 50 uh, point fifty five seconds and the latter in one point four seven uh seconds. The second place competitor came about a second shot. In oh my god, I mean this is just insane. Thomas, a biological male, competed on UPS men's swimming team for three years before before switching over to the uh, women's team after transitioning. Nope. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Y'all, some psychopaths. The athlete's win comes only days after the NCAA modified its policy to allow each port to determine its own transgender participation in similar fashion to practices of the U.S. and International Olympic Committees. The policy revision will be effective at the upcoming winter uh, uh, tournaments. Under this new freaking policy, the national governing body for each sport will set uh, that sport's transgender rule. Ain't that some shit? If there is no governing body for the sport, the Sports International Federation will determine the rules. If an international federation has no transgender policy, the American branch of the particular sport will adapt the IOC policy. Transgender student athletes will need to document sports-specific testosterone levels beginning four weeks before their sports championship selection. <clears throat> Starting with the 22-23 academic year, transgender student athletes will need to um, uh, be documented levels at the beginning of their season and the second documentation uh, within six months after the first. They will also need to be uh, documented testosterone levels for four weeks before the championship selections. Why can't you just start a transgender male league? Why? Why? That's a dangerous game y'all playing right there. That's too fucking crazy. Too crazy. Too crazy. Let me tell you something about the devil, though. He makes the evil fair seeming. 
It ain't nothing fair seeming about a man that feels like a woman inside, that he transitions to a woman, but he gets to compete against real women because y'all say his testosterone levels make him equal to a cisgender woman. It's too confusing. I Let me off this bus. I'll see y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think about this crazy shit.